check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. So, um, long story short, um, IOA is short for Isle of Atlas. And I decided upon this name because of the Greek, um, the Greek um, Titan um, Atlas. And after the Titans had essentially lost the war, he was destined to hold the world and to hold the heavens up on his shoulders. So I used to think of it as a metaphor for um, being like over thoughtful, you know, being weighed down by the world, you know, having the world on your shoulders, that kind of metaphor. But I was inspired by a friend a couple years ago um, who told me to not name myself for where I am, but name myself for where I'm going. So I kind of reimagined this whole Isle of Atlas to be a place of endurance because I spend a lot of time by myself in um, isolation, which isn't always good. Um, but I see it as a symbol of endurance. Um, essentially, that somewhere on a mountain, somewhere, this guy is holding up the world not because. Um, he has to fight because this is this is life. This is how he processes things, and maybe one day he'll um, put the heavens down. So um, King was inspired a couple years ago. Um, I had to write a poem for um, a pageant that I was in. It wasn't a beauty pageant. It was more sort of a cultural pageant, and essentially I was trying to write from I was writing from my experiences at the time. Um, um, being someone of African descent, I'm Nigerian, um, and I really wanted to connect with not just the tribe, but essentially our experiences from Africa as a whole. And um, there were certain things that I said and I mentioned that made me realise that it wasn't just pressures from society, but it was also pressure from um, parent, um, like parents, um, possibly um, the legacy that I'm kind of having to build right now. Um, which I'm really appreciative of, but you know, sometimes it does weigh on and you know, you, you're not allowed to make mistakes sometimes and even the poem was a perfect reflection of that and just where I'm at and where I'm trying to go. So um, currently like, I'm working on a couple projects, but the main thing that I want to let people know about is I can't, I'm currently running an academic support service um, called Scribe and that is essentially um, trying to or even succeeded su succeeding in teaching people academic transferable skills and what that essentially means is um, a lot of people go through university experience um, and don't take advantage of one of the uh, most primary parts um, of the university experience which is essay writing and whereas people do that people may not also be securing internships but I have um, gone through the university experience myself, only having done one internship. Yeah, I was able to secure a job um, at a top firm for marketing. And when I say um, competitive, I think there was there were eight people like accepted and ten thousand people applied for the role. And I graduated a year early because um, I was able to secure that because I was able to um, go through the process. Um, having utilized all these skills to you know be able to leverage success and essentially that's what I'm, I'm, I'm trying to teach people I'm trying to teach people these academic skills um, to first of all maximize them in the academic field but then also to be able to leverage them in all sorts of different um, places in their lives <laughs> 